Warning, health and safety. Nintendo. Intelligent Systems. Dolby Pro Logic 2. Hey, look, a book. <clears throat> Today, I'm going to tell you the story of the Thousand Year Door. An awfully long time ago, in a strange and far off land, a big bustling town thrived. It was a town where all people lived very happy lives, and it was said that the town was very prosperous. But one day, tragedy befell this blessed place. A great cataclysm struck the town and its people. Darkness filled the skies and the earth roared and shook. It was as if the very world had come to a violent end. And in but a single night, the town sank into the depths of the earth. See, that's what they get by dividing by zero. Seriously. Many moons rose and set. Stories of the town passed into pages of fairy tales. And when the town site no longer held the relics of its past, people gathered at the spot and built a new town. But word soon spread among the people who moved in that an ancient city lay deep underground and that a magnificent treasure rested there. Indeed. This is the tale of the fabled treasure of Rogueport. Yes, this is where it begins, in the sea town of Rogueport. The tale of a quest for the legendary treasure and the thousand year door starts here. Finally, I have a minute without Toadsworth watching over me. He's so paranoid. I come all this way here on holiday only to be stuck with Toadsworth. It's so stifling. Once in a while, I like a chance to look around on my own and see what I want. But now that I'm doing it, all I see is this town has a very um distinct flavor. Oh, Missy. Missy. Do you mean me? Yes, you, Missy. Won't you buy something? I have a wide assortment of knickknacks and doodads. Oh, well, um... Well, that's a pretty box. What's inside it? It's said that this box holds a map that shows where a legendary treasure sleeps. But the box has a magic lock on it and it will only open for a pure and noble heart. As you can see, it won't so much as budge if one such as myself touches it. Ooh. I know. If the box will open for you, Missy, then you may have whatever is inside. I am sure that whatever is in there will be of no use to someone like me. So, Missy, take this box in your hands and see what happens. Um, alright. What's the harm? Why would you... I'll try to open it. Why would you accept a box from a stranger anyway? Why? Oh, whatever. Yep. What's up, guys? It's Oblivion Guy with Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door. Let's play. Now, this game is great. I gotta say, this is a very nice sequel to the classic Paper Mario from the Nintendo 64. And it's a really fun game to let's play. I know a lot of other people let's play to like Chugga Conroy and all those other famous LPRs. But, you know, I'm going to try and be real different. And by that, I mean, I'm going to really go for everything I've got. Now, as you can see, they got a naming screen where you can be as original or inappropriate as you want. Me, I'm just going to spell out my normal name, Oblivion. Trust me, I'd highly recommend this game. Uh, it's for GameCube, but you can play it on the Wii, which is really good. Hey look, it's Paper Mario's house. Back in the N64. Same one. And there's Paracarry. He was one of um, Paper Mario's former partners. Mail call. And there he goes. Never to make a reference again. Hey look, Ouija! Getting the mail for his big brother, Mario.
Hey bro, check it out. A letter from Princess Peach arrived for you. I'll just read it to you. How's that sound? Ahem, now let's see here. Hello there, Mario. I am now on holiday traveling in the Mushroom Kingdom. In my travels, I came into possession of a mystical map. A treasure map, actually. It was inside a box that I got from an old merchant in a town called Robeport. But since it would be too difficult for me to try and go find the treasure all by myself, I thought you could help me hunt for it. You will, of course, won't you? I've included the map with this letter, so please bring it with you when you come. I'll meet you at Rogueport. That means you must come, Peach. What do you know? It's true. There's a weathered old map in here with the letter. Check it out. Mario, thousand year door. I'm on a boat, I'm on a boat, I'm on a boat. Everybody look at me, cause I'm sailing on a boat. I'm on a boat, I'm on a boat, I'm on a boat. I'm on a boat. Take a good hard look at the mother boat, yeah. Yeah, I'm trying to keep this LP uh, rated E for everyone, so no cursing. E R O L O G U E. Prologue. A rogue's welcome. Cool. Excuse me, sir. Please wake up, sir. The town you've been speaking of has come into view. Look, that's Rogueport. Blinking effects. You see, we'll arrive shortly. Please prepare to disembark. Nice, a dock. I must apologize, sir. Our arrival was delayed just a bit by rough weather. Are you sure you want to disembark here? I did tell you all the soldier tales about Roport on our way here, did I not? What's that? I'm sorry? You said there's a princess here waiting for you. Is that so? Uh, of course, sir. Uh, well, if that's what you think, then I won't stop you. But, uh, you be careful, sir. Don't say I didn't warn you. You for both. Bye. And welcome to Rogueport. Here in Pit Mario, you got the some bars. Mario's level, which is 1. Rising Star, which is his rank. Hammer. Jumping, heart points, flower points, badge points, star points, coins, star pieces, shine sprites, and of course playtime, which has been three minutes so far. The gear, we don't have any items yet, and we have a mailbox SP, which we can get emails throughout our quest. We have a journal, which we can keep a map, which we don't only have one location so far. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is talk to this person over here. Oi, welcome to Rogueport. Bit of a nasty place, huh? You got guts coming here. You look a bit green, so I have a wee bit of advice. On me, hit that save block to save. Because the thing about life is, you never know when you're going to kick the old bucket. So, we're going to do what he says and save. Right here. Hit the block to save all the events you've experienced so far. Even if your game ends, you can continue it from the last point you saved at. Anytime you find a block like this on your adventure, be sure to save. Save all the progress at this point? Yeah. I'm gonna just stop it right here because YouTube won't allow the video to be longer than 15 minutes. 